babe, I, uh, I always felt like part of being uh, in the right marriage requires falling in love many times with the same person. Uh, the amazing thing about this is that every single day I fall more deeply in love with you. Uh, I'm going to say something my dad used to say to my mother all the time. Um, and uh, he said it to all of us. I love you more today than I did yesterday. And yesterday I loved you more than you could possibly know. In fact, something happened to me the second that I met you that I can't really explain. Uh, yet it's my desire to spend the rest of my life trying to figure out what that something was. Uh, from that single moment, the most important moment of all the moments uh, in all the days of all my life, uh, you literally took my breath away. You are a breath thief. I always thought it would be so difficult to find someone who will love me when I I'm always scattered in a thousand pieces. It's like trying to complete a puzzle that you don't even know if you have all the right pieces for. But then you showed me that every piece doesn't have to be in a place, in place to create something beautiful. And you continue to do that daily. You showed me that love and true happiness can exist in the most imperfect, lost, and broken people. You, <laughs> you gave my heart the life it so desperately needed. I never, it never stops to amaze me that on our first date you drove over 12 hours so you can take me out. Mm -hmm. And I kept thinking, what is this feeling not knowing that my heart loved you then before my brain knew? You never cease to amaze me the way that you love me and our family in ways I never knew possible every single day. You are without question or doubt that person. I cannot live without you, I need you more than the air that you stole from me the first second I laid eyes on yours, my little breath thief. <laughs> by the power invested in me, by the Holy Spirit, and in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pronounce you man and wife. Joel, you may kiss the bride. I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Joel Myers. I've always felt like I've had five children of my own in some ways. Um, and the reason I say that is that um, Ever since they were born, Emily and Joel and Ethan, they've been a part of my heart. Even though Joel is uh, obviously my older brother, I've always kind of felt um, a little bit like an older brother to Joel. Um, even though he's, you know, he's always the one he's got you know, standing ovations and people, you know, looking at him every day and, and sending him fan mail. Um, you know, I always know that Joel has got uh, a really soft heart. The great thing is, is that I've always tried to be there for him, but now there's someone that's, that's actually going to be able to be there for him and inspire him. I remember when Hara texted me to watch Joseph one night, and it was going to be their first date, and I see her getting all dressed up, and I'm like, where are you going? I haven't seen her like that in, wow, months, years, maybe. Um, and she was like, I'm going somewhere. She's like, I'll tell you later. Because it was her first exposure to being, feeling like butterflies and being happy in a long time. To know Hara is to love Hara. I think we can all agree that she is the most kind-hearted, patient, and supportive person we've ever met. That leads me to Joel. You are wonderful. You are a blessing to not only Hara, but to our lives as well. Billy and I are grateful for your friendship. Thank you so much for loving my sweet friend as she deserves to be loved. Thank you for accepting Joseph as your own and for being a great daddy to him. Billy and I wish you two nothing but the best in life, marriage, and within your family.